We're just going to hope this works and not have a repeat of last Thursday. Oh boy. Welcome to the live stream. I'm going to complain probably a hundred times tonight because it is about 1 billion degrees outside. So be prepared for that. Be prepared for that as I turn off my notifications. Whew. It is definitely a scorcher. Um, let's see. Let me get my chat up here because I just went live without even paying attention. So I hope you all were able to make it to my live stream on Thursday. I did have to delete it because um, it, it got a little spicy and, uh, you know, it was about two seconds long. So I had to delete it. I appreciate everyone that watched it, though. Um, I had, got a lot of comments, too, which was nice. Always nice to see comments on my live streams. Uh, hot Bob, it is melting hot, meltingly hot in here. And it's just going to get worse. I tried to do it without having all these lights on, but I can't. I had, I had to put the lights on because it just looked too weird. So, yeah, it's going to get hot. But that means it's sunny out. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to go um, scrounge around on the beach and play with some crabs and... I don't know. Just see what I can find. Probably get some starfish or something. We'll see. Uh, whoop, whoop. Marvin's Loach Gardens. What's up, buddy? Giant Panda. Hello, hello. As usual, we will give this a few minutes for people to chime in. I hope you got your fish questions ready because that's what we are here for. Meaning me and everyone in chat. We could probably get your questions answered if you have questions or I'll just ramble like an idiot for two hours and it'll be your guys's fault uh and i'm just kidding hey bob and everyone in chat my fish tanks aquatics hello lonnie hello well hello to everyone oof i would not want to try tank maintenance with the fish in the thumbnail i feel like that's an accurate representation of a lot of shell dwellers um i have been bitten a lot by shell dwellers and um I've been bitten by fish much larger than shell dwellers, and they didn't pinch it nearly as bad as shell dwellers. I feel like I'm saying that a lot. It was 92 in Knoxville. Yeah, so imagine that in a room with one, two, three, four, like five lights on. I've got two. Oh, I could probably turn off this other monitor. I probably won't need that. I'm about to do a cold water change on my quarries. We'll feed them up, get them fat. And uh, maybe they'll get a, a cold water spawn. Uh, Regina says, my Kudo Punctatus spawned. I'm, I'm assuming Kudo Punctatus. Uh, Joel says, what's up, my fellow ape? New background? No, this is actually an old background, but I enjoy it because there are actually hill stream loaches in here. There are some different types of like lizard whiptail type catfish. The red lizard whiptail, which is right here. And then another whip tail there and just some unique fish that we don't see every day um, like gold white clouds I mean we never see those so yeah I thought I'd throw it in the loop today and just for something different uh, unholy orders hello boy is that two weeks in a row awesome good to see you buddy Carol Cox says hello technical difficulties here but I made it normally that's on my end so I'm glad it's on someone else's end for once uh, what is a reasonable average? What is a reasonable average for the amount of fraud a guppy should have a breed fish for the first time? Wait, what? I'm not really sure if they're doing good or not. What is a reasonable average for the amount of fish? Maybe a guppy should have bred fish. I'm not sure, David. I'm not sure what you're asking. I feel like there's a lot of maybe autocorrects in there. And I cannot decipher that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, Michael Long, hello. Uh, Zen says it was 97. It's still 90 and 70% 70, 70 humidity. Uh, like living in the fog. I hate it. Uh, wait, how is there no common pleco in the background tank? What do they keep? <laughs> how do they keep that tank clean? I know. No common pleco? Jeez. Jeez. Um, amount of fry. What is a reasonable average for the amount of fry a guppy should have 
uh, breadfish for the first time. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess that makes an incredible amount of sense. <laughs> what did I say? Fish? Fry? Same thing. All right, let me read that again. David says, what is a reasonable average for the amount of fry a guppy should have? Um, I'm assuming I bred fish for the first time the other day, and I'm not really sure if they're doing good or not. Well, I wouldn't be so concerned about how many they should have. Um, I mean, if you are if you have a guppy that only had 10 fry, then it only had 10 fry. Um, if you're worried about them doing good, then if you then if they had 10 fry and you're down to five, then I would maybe be a little worried. Uh, but if you don't know how many they had, maybe they had 30 and they're down to 10, um, then I would be worried too. But generally, guppy fry are really hardy for the most part when it comes to like fish fry. I mean, fish fry in general are not hardy, but compared to other fry, I would say that guppies are pretty hardy. And uh, you just need to make sure you're getting them food. So like small powdered food, uh, you can even like just crush up uh, flake to just like a really fine powder and uh, you can feed that to them. And that, that's pretty much the only thing I'd worry about. Also make sure they're not getting sucked up in your filter. If you have like a hang on back filter or a canister filter, um, you might be losing some fry in that as well. So something to keep an eye on. Um, Zen Ginger, I'll be there in three weeks. Not looking forward to the humidity. Oof. Humidity is definitely not fun. I'm um, sorry. I'm trying to figure out how many babies ago, he, how, how many babies he should have. It was autocorrect. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no need to apologize. Um, usually, I'm a little better at figuring out the autocorrect, but apparently not tonight. <laughs> Tisha says, "What's up, Bob? Question: What would be a good dither fish for a ram breeding tank? Temp is going to be warm, around 84 degrees. I mean, I would go with hatchet fish personally." Um, if you can find them, I would, I would go with ha uh, hatchet fish. I think they're really good dither fish and they're always going to stay at the top. Um, what you'll find with like other dithers is a lot of times they do kind of meander towards the bottom. Yeah. They spend like 75% up at the top, but they'll go down on the bottom, you know, during feeding, if there's something to eat, hatchet fish generally stay at the top all the time. So if you're breeding rams and they're getting kind of angry down there, you probably want to keep that area clean. So I'd go with hatch a fish. Um, sorry about the confusion. I don't see great. No need to apologize at all, my friend. At all. Trust me, I don't ever fix my autocorrects. I just roll with it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even care what it says. Like, I'm not gonna go back and fix it. You either figure it out or I say something stupid and you hate me forever. Whatever. Caved in and bought a new AC unit last week. The heat this year is just too intense. Um, this is probably our first like real heat wave. Um, I mean, it got into in the eighties, like a month or so ago for a couple days, but, um, like the 10 day forecast is all heat, all heat. Just started working at a pond maintenance company. That's actually pretty cool. Any aquatic parasites or diseases I should be concerned about? Not any more so than, I mean, I, I wouldn't be concerned about it at all. I mean, I don't know like where you're at. Like if you're, if your pond company is like down in Peru or, you know, South America or in the Congo, um, maybe there'd be some concern, but, um, generally I wouldn't be concerned about it. I wouldn't be concerned about transferring anything from your fish tank. Um, obviously, you know, you want to wash your hands and things like that, but don't wash your hands and then stick your hands in your fish tanks. Obviously you don't want to get any soap residue in your fish tank. Um, but yeah, just give give your hands a good wash or, you know, take a shower or whatever. When I go to the dog kennel, um, I go every week to volunteer. And when I come home, my clothes go straight into the wash and I go right into the shower just so I don't take a chance of transferring anything to my dogs. Um, it's, it's not a huge concern. It's just like, why not do it? There's no point not to. Now, if I had to do that every day, I probably wouldn't. Um, but again, ponds, way different. Um I, I wouldn't be worried about it myself at all. Don't get me started on humidity. Northwest Florida here. <laughs> Florida. Yep. Um, I've been to Florida once and I agree. Heat and humidity. When I was there, it rained. Well, so well, I was there like during the summer and it was like 90 degrees every day. And then every day at like six o'clock, it just thunder showered for like 30 minutes and then it cleared up and it was super hot again. So 
it's out here on the Olympic Peninsula. Has been a lot of fun so far. Oh, right on, right on. Um, in this area, then I would not be concerned about anything. Um, our native water is so much different than anything that you're having have in your aquarium. Like when I get driftwood and rocks, like it's going from like 40 degree water to like 80 degree tropical water. And yeah, I wouldn't be worried about it personally, especially on the peninsula. I thought soap cleans the water in my fish tank. It doesn't clean the water. It cleans the decorations, not the water. Uh, fish tank barn with a five dollar super chat thank you my friend says ac fund i've got the ac right behind me but i can't have it on while i'm live streaming because it's just too loud plus um it's actually right here but you can't see it um yeah i'm trying to oh i'm just flexing right now um right here right here but you can't see it because there's a green sheet over it <laughs> uh so i've had it running all day and I sat down to turn on the live stream and I looked behind me. I'm like, oh, there's the AC. You can see it. So I had to put a, a green sheet on it. And uh, and now the dogs are getting rowdy. Uh, thank you, Mike, for the super chat. We'll use that for how about the power bill to run the AC because that's going to be insane. Furlough's Aquatic with the $10 super chat. Been a while since I've caught a live stream. Hope you're doing good, brother. Furlough's Aquatic, thank you, my friend. I do appreciate it. And yeah, doing pretty good. Can't complain. Cannot complain. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pompeii Ranch with the $3 super chat as well. Thank you, friend. Um, I'm in Pensacola, Florida, the most western part of Florida, and the humidity is insane. Lived here my whole life, and every summer it seems to get worse. Break a sweat going to the mailbox. I feel like it would be one of those things that like you'd get used to, but I guess not. I guess, I guess not. Uh, what is your pH and parameters out in TDS out in Washington? It's really soft out there. Yes, Leo, it is basically RODI water. Um, pH is like upper six. There's It varies a little bit, but I would say like 6.5 to 6.8 on any, on any given day. Um, yeah, TDS, it's just, I mean, I could literally do salt water and just use tap. I could do the salt water aquarium and use tap water. Um, and I know that because I did. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's... Uh, minerals are non-existent in my water and I hate it. It's terrible. Um, good night, Katie. Sleep for me too, please. Oh, um, I guess good night to UPS are living the dream. Uh, I just got permission to set up a five gallon tank. What excuse can I use to get clown killies? What excuse can I use to get clown? I was going to get cherry shrimp as well as cleaners. Um, what you need an excuse to get clown killies. How about they're super mega awesome? And um, they're a great fish. I, I'm generally not a fan of five gallon aquariums, just my personal preference. But I feel like clown killies and cherry shrimp would do just fine in a five gallon. And um, I mean, cherry shrimp would be your cleaners, right? So you can get your clown killies. They will probably breed in a five gallon as well. And then you have your cherry shrimp for a cleanup crew. Easy peasy, easy peasy lemon squeezy all right hey bob i'm setting up an 18 gallon tub pond for white clouds how many should i start with for breeding honestly i would do at least a dozen at least and at most i would probably do like 13. uh <laughs> just kidding i would i would start out with a dozen uh, here for the like, catching the replay tomorrow on the clock. Thank you, and don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the like button. That's all I ask. That's the only thing I ask for. Super chats are nice, memberships are nice, but the only thing I ask for are likes. So please hit the like button. Uh, in Stanwood, we have hard city water, 8.2 pH out of the tap. How is that even possible? What? That's insane. I know someone that lives in Stanwood, and they have the same size. So are you sure you're not on a well? I mean, I guess you would, you probably know, <laughs> but dang, that's crazy. How many tanks is Bob running currently? Um, how many tanks is Bob currently running <sighs> with fish in them? Man. Um, maybe like a dozen. I just have a lot of my rare rainbow still. Um, uh, I'd say like a dozen. 
I'm I'm finally gonna take down the 240 this week and um, get that out of here. But yeah, I'd say probably around a dozen. Uh, Amy says I have a heavily planned tank with six ruby tetras that I never see. Is there anything I can do to um, anything I do to add them to get them to come out more? Ten gallon tank. Um, so generally tetras um like to be in larger schools and i would say six is the minimum but if six isn't enough to make them feel comfortable um maybe more plants would make them feel more comfortable like floating plants um maybe there's something generally when fish are hiding you know there's something that's scaring them so maybe i don't know maybe we have a cat that walks over the tank or something uh, but floating plants generally help fish feel more comfortable um and, and really any plants in general um, also other fish so if you've got some like uh, rasboras or even shrimp anything else in there corydoras um, that would make them feel more comfortable well would and they but uh, would probably make them come out more he asked about guppies battling parasites a while back you said they were likely weak or stressed move them to 150 gallon pond and they're fat and happy thank you awesome awesome good news good news Will gold and normal white clouds crossbreed? Yes, they're the exact same fish. So, yes, they will. Uh, thanks for the advice. Next time my parents ask why I'm going to buy a fish, I'll just tell them because it's a freaking awesome fish. I mean, really? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like, when it comes to clown killies, I feel like that's one of the fish, like, you shouldn't have to explain. Like, clown, ki clown killies look so, at least the males, um, I mean, even the females still look good, but they don't have, you know, the same amount of color as a male. Um, but they just look amazing. I feel like you just show them a picture of a clown killie and be like, do you really have to ask why? Like, look at them. Just look at them. You shouldn't have to ask. <laughs> I have a common pleco. I think that, wait, Wooly Wooly says, I have a common pleco. I think that baby is going to outlive me over 20 years old and my silver dollar is catching up to that too. I mean, yep, both of those fish. Uh, can live a really long life if taken well care of. Um, so, I mean, congrats. That's pretty awesome. Multi Jacker with a $10 super chat says, Hey, Bob, happy Monday. Aside from koi, what freshwater fish come from Japan? Uh, rice fish? Rice fish. Rice fish. I have over 8 pH city water here. I use it from an African cichlid tank and pond. I use RODI water remineralized re for my planet tanks. Um, huh. How do you keep a tank cool in the summer? There's a cool. There's a few things you could do. Um, something as simple as a fan on top pointed to just like the surface of the water actually makes a pretty big difference. A lot of people will freeze water bottles and then you know float them in the tank and just it's just a constant cycle. Um, even depending on the size of the tanks, I mean some people do like one gallon uh, like milk jugs and freeze them and float them in the tank. So. Those are just a few of the things. There are aquarium chillers that are absolutely expensive, um, which you could also do, but they're really expensive. I think I think you'll find if you just point a fan to the top of the water, it makes a pretty big difference. Biscotti Ananya, have a good stream, been a rough day. I'm lurking for now. I'm sorry, buddy. Hope it gets better, and maybe uh, maybe uh, I guess when you start off the week with on a, with a rough day, then. There's nowhere to go but up, right? Can only get better from here, I hope. Jacob, freeze bottles of water, and you can float them during the day if you don't spend the money on a cooler. If you don't want to spend money um, too cooly for schooly. What's up? Oh, I got another message. I just got to turn this off. Uh, mine is a 20 long want to get the temp down to 74 75 currently at 81 yeah then I, I would just honestly you could just get like a small clip on fan clip it right on the side of it and aim it right at the top of the water Jamie McDonald the director of the channel making an appearance what's up Jamie good to see you um, armor gobies are from Japan um, the um, the blennies I got are from Japan too um, the so-called so-called freshwater blennies although they are not um the top hat blenny those were from japan i use erythromycin to treat cyano and have never had issues i got into a discussion on a forum on whether or not it kills beneficial bacteria and i was wondering in your personal experience uh person how what your personal experience was 
Um, I do believe, believe it'll kill beneficial bacteria, but I don't believe it'll kill enough of it um, to actually kill your entire cycle. Um, at least it's never, never done that for me. So the recommended amount, I always stick to what it says. I never do less, I never do more, and I've never lost a cycle using erythromycin, ever. Fans in Texas just means hella, hella evaporation. So ice is my go-to if needed. Hella evaporation. <laughs> I finally got rid of cyanobacteria. I hate that stinky stuff. Yep, yep. I had a friend who was going through it and uh, just had to black out his tank and then we added a crap ton of plants. Um, do, cor do corridors cross breed? Is it fine to have multiple species in a large tank, like six of each? Um, yes, they certainly can cross breed. Um, and it is certainly acceptable to have many species in one tank. Um, is, I mean, you obviously cannot take fry and then sell it as, hey, this is a peppered catfish or this is a panda catfish because you don't really know. Especially, there's so many Corydoras that look so similar, like the Agazizi eye. Um, there's, well, there's probably like 15 to 20 Corys that look almost identical to an Agazizi eye or, you know, whichever. So, yeah, as long as you're not selling them, it doesn't really matter and honestly if you're selling them and you're honest about it then some people won't even care they're just I they'll, they'll be just like I just want Corydoras I love them I don't care what they are what's my favorite plant types for a 75 um and generally I like tall leafy plants like hygrophilia hygrophilia angustifolia um jungle val even though I hate it I still love it and um and anything long and skinny like that Dwarf Sag, which is not really dwarf, but Sagittaria. Xana Doo Doo with the five dollar super chat. Thank you, I appreciate it. Looking to add Melanotania, other rainbows, uh, newer seventy five gallon planted, hard water, high pH. Better to get four. Wait, better to get four to six plus of one species or one to two of a few species. Xana Doo Doo, any of them work. Um, I I tend to go back and forth a lot between species only rainbows and mixed rainbow tanks it's one of those things where like having a gigantic tool of one rainbow is awesome and i'll do that for like a year or two and then i'm like oh, i'm gonna mix it up and do a mixed species and then that's awesome for like a year or two and i always go back and forth in like my display tanks um so it's really gonna be personal preference there's no problems like mixing species um, again, obviously, like I just said earlier, if they cross, you know, if they breed, they could be crossbred. So you, you, you wouldn't want to sell any fry that you have pop up, popping up out of there. But otherwise, you know, not, not a big deal at all. It's just going to be personal preference, personal preference. Uh, sitting here with the fiance and she's asking questions about Bob. What's Bob's least favorite dog breed? Probably chihuahuas and no offense to the people that own chihuahuas. I just find them to be highly annoying. Um, dogs and i think it's a representation of the people that own them and not the dog itself but i feel like and i'm you know i come across a lot of chihuahuas every week and they're the by far the most bitey dogs ever so yeah i love all dogs i still love chihuahuas but they are definitely my least favorite I like the black hat and shirt with the background looks good. I just thought I'd let you know. I, I was like, <laughs> when I turned it on, I was like, this looks, I don't know. Does it look weird? Does it, uh, I don't know. It just looked really dark. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, I bought Corridor Egazizi a few years ago. Ended up being Corridor's So Dallas, a cool surprise. Uh, they're still going strong. Yeah, I feel like a lot of them are very mislabeled. I mean, if you really start looking at um, corridor is there's a, there's just a lot of that like spotted with a black stripe and it's just like maybe one has one less scale or you know the spots are just a little bit bigger so I feel like they get misrepresented a lot or misidentified my pink flamingo crypt from boost plant came in great so excited oh you know I was actually wondering about that that's good because wasn't it like in the mail for longer than it was supposed to be as well I kill more jungle bell than a monsoon. See, I don't really kill it. It just never grows for me. And it's so annoying. It's so frustratingly annoying that it just, so, okay. So I'm not gonna say never, cause there are times when it just grows like crazy, but usually it's sitting there like half dead for eight months. 
and then I'll come in a day later and like boom, the whole tank is just jungle vow. But more often than not, it just just sits there and doesn't do anything. It doesn't die. It doesn't grow. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> that's funny though. I kill more at jungle vow than a monsoon. Uh, what are some good plants for a warm tank, 84 degrees ram tanks? Um, uh, most plants are going to do well and even do better in a warm tank. Uh, they're going to grow faster, so I wouldn't do, you know, I wouldn't do things like Rotala and Lugwidia, Lugwidia unless you're wanting to just trim stem plants and nonstop like every other day. Um, uh, that's the only thing I would be worried about with a warmer tank. The plants do grow faster. I was definitely considering Neon Dwarf Garami in there. I also have a 10 gallon to cycle and plant it. I thought about having Neon Dwarf in there. Um, I'm loving my Garami still. I still have my oh, stupid dogs. Uh, uh, anyways, I, I'm just going to say I, I'm really loving Garamis. I want to get more. Fun fact about Chihuahuas. They were bred by South American cultures for medical use as living heat packs. I think I read that somewhere. That sounds really familiar. Would you cycle a new tech? Wait, Michael Scott, what's up? Hello, world. You oh, hello, world. Um, hello. Would you cycle a new tank set up with the water and rocks from my backyard? I'm guessing is what you mean to say. Um, I I don't know that I would grab something from my backyard. I mean, I don't know. You know, what if your neighbor is like spraying roundup or if you if you don't have any neighbors and you don't use like roundup or anything like that uh no chemicals fertilizers um then i would probably i wouldn't have any problems using rocks and wood from outside um but if i was like in my neighborhood where all the houses are just like pfft, we have like one foot of space in between the houses it's not that bad but like my neighbor sprays and so i would never take anything out of my yard Um, I wonder what corridors you could breed to make a gold corridor. I think there, I mean, there already are kind of gold, orange, like Venezuelan corridors. Uh, Valisonaria is one of those rare plants that like hard, that likes hard water. There, well, there's definitely a few different types. Um, yeah, and more than not, they are going to like hard water, but there are still some, um, like any, any native jungle val is not going to. Any native jungle val over where I'm at <laughs> is not going to like hard water. Uh, my crypt came after only three days, surprisingly enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad. That's nothing for a plant. Um, do you think goldfish would eat guppy fry in a large pond with plants? Yes, if they find them. If you're in a, in a large pond with plants and there's lots of places for them to hide, Chances are a fair amount of them are going to make it, but if they find them, they will definitely eat them. And gold, I mean, a goldfish will eat the adults, um, let alone the fry. Uh, just ordered a small USB fan. Hopefully this sucker works. Uh, weather is brutal in, in Arizona. I bet, it, I bet it would work. I don't know if it's going to get you from like 85 to 75, but it generally does lower it a couple degrees. I apparently can't grow Val either. pH is 7.8 kH, GH high, nitrates between 20 and 40. Uh, between water changes, got root tabs on each plant. Two phoenix planted plus seven hours a day. Yeah. Val is just one of those plants. Um, you know, it's listed as an easy plant, but it's not easy for everyone. A lot of people, um, a lot of people have issues with that plant. Me included. Oh, that's nice. So cold. Uh, does it do well? Um, it's the same for some rasboras. I ordered 20 harlequins from eBay, and I got at least three different species. Well, yeah, I would definitely be leery about rasboras because, you know, there's the harlequin rasboras. There's like, there's, yeah, there's three or four rasboras that will come in pretty close to that. Like the, the red slender rasbora. Have ever kept black tiger baddis? I have. Just picked up a few. They are awesome. Jacob, they are awesome. They are super awesome. I highly recommend them. All baddis in general um, are pretty bad, as in good. 
Have you ever grown plants immersed? Jacob Hill, when I was like super nerding into plants, I did have immersed setups. I had quite a few of them, um, and it was really bad. I just had like Tupperware tubs set up all over the place, just growing plants. And like in, they were in like every windowsill. And yeah, there was a time when I was a huge plant nerd, huge. And um, yeah, I won like master. Oh yeah, right here. Well, look, here it is. Just happens to be right here. Hort Horticulturist of the year award. Because I was just growing things left and right. Whatever I get my hands on, I was buying. Like, if I didn't have it and I saw it for sale, I was buying it. Crazy crazy, crazy idea, but if I put a light on top of it, could I put a Venus flytrap in my hang-on-back filter? I know nothing about that plant, so I don't know. <laughs> I've never kept one. I've never researched one. Um, yeah. 503 Aquatics. Hello, hello, hello. It's Amazon Prime Day. What products do you suggest looking for that I wouldn't be as easy find it as an... Ooh, that's what you call trying to talk through a burp. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's Amazon Prime Day. What products do you suggest looking for that I wouldn't be as easy found that wouldn't be as easy found in... in, in I don't know. I am struggling with this one. I tried to support local, but I want to stock up on things I have to buy on Amazon anyways. Honestly, um, Caitlin, I... Totally forgot it was Prime Day. Um, and honestly, the last two Prime Days have been absolutely terrible for aquatics. Um, what I would do is you can sort it. You can actually go in and sort it for pets and then aquatics. And it's honestly, it's normally like junk that just doesn't sell. And they have like a bajillion of them in their warehouse. I'll look right now. I have it all set up on Amazon. So let me go. I'll see if there's anything anything going right now. One second. Pet supplies. Here we go. I do all pet supplies because I'm always interested in dogs and reptiles. and just, Yeah, see, there's like nothing. <laughs> Marineland polishing filter pads. $10 on sale for $2.79. There you go. And this is for like a hang... Or, for a what is this for let me click polishing pads um for a this is i think for one of their canister filters uh pc 360 <laughs> some random filter floss for some random filter that they're hey guess what it's on sale so that's that's my experience and uh amazon prime day is just is I don't know. Honestly, it's kind of a joke. Kind of a joke. Have I ever been to the White Spot uh, in Portland? Yes. And if so, what do you think? Thinking of checking them out when I'm in Portland? I'd say it's definitely worth it. Um, they have, well, I don't know. I mean, so I haven't been there in probably like four years. But when I was there, there was definitely lots of just huge variety of fish. So I, w I would check it out if you're going to be there anyways. Um, in my opinion, it's probably probably the only one worth checking out. There's a couple other ones, um, but the, again, this was four years ago, so things may have changed. Um, but there was I went to three of them, and one of them shut down, and the, and the other one was really run down. So, like, I mean, they had like ponds that were just empty, just hanging out, like, just, and like not empty, like they emptied them, like empty. The water evaporated and they never bothered to fill them back up again. So, you know, like crusty dried up, not like clean dried up. <sighs> Would you rather have an angelfish community or a rainbow community? Uh, rainbow community, absolutely. Um, I think rainbow fish are night and day better than angelfish. Again, that's just personal preference, though. So don't get mad. If you're an angelfish lover, don't get mad. Those ink bird temperature probes are on sale on Amazon. Are you going to stream from the new fish room at all? Or is it too small to pull that off? It's actually bigger than my old fish room. Um, and it's definitely not too small to live stream. My studio is like shares a wall. So like here's my fish room here over here is the new live stream studio. So yeah, I'd be able to 
um, easily live stream in the new fish room, uh, which will which will be nice uh, because now I don't have enough Wi-Fi in the fish room to live stream, so it's really hard. Like it just looks terrible. Um, it would be nice though if they um, upped it to 1080p uh, instead of 720, but you know, I, I feel that's that's asking a lot. You know, having, having the biggest tech tech company um, run you know technology that's been out for 40 years that's that's a lot to ask for uh, you know Google, but hopefully they'll do it eventually. Low sells Dragonstones in 44 pound boxes, way cheap. That is true. That is true. Once that hit the interwebs, they were like sold out. They might still be sold out. Case 2 says, I don't like chihuahuas or angelfish either. Uh, it's not that I don't like angelfish. Um, they, they're just a fish that's never really done it for me. I've kept them on and off very rarely throughout the years. And um, yeah, they're just, eh, you know, they're cool. Whatever. I ordered them online. A bug order. Good customer service. All fish arrived healthy and fast. Hmm. Well, here we go. Caitlin says, Venus fly traps are really as, like really acidic soil. So unless you have really high pH, it probably wouldn't work because it would change your water's pH. Well, there you go. No fleeness. No fleeness fly trap. Uh, mine shows 2160p. Yes, yes, yes. On I'm on desktop right now. So I'm like through the web browser. Uh, but through mobile... It is only 720. You can only stream in 720 on your mobile. Uh, through the mobile app, I should say. My dogs are part chihuahua and I breed angelfish. <laughs> That's so funny. I, again, I'm not hating on chihuahuas. I'm not saying I hate them. I was strictly asked which breed I like the least. So I like all dogs, but I like chihuahuas the least. I don't hate them. I've heard that clown killies like soft water. Could I acclimate them quickly or could I, or would I have to soften the water a bit? Could I just use some botanicals to soften it? My water is crazy hard. Yeah, I would just throw in some leaf litter and honestly, I wouldn't be too worried about it. Most clown killies are coming out of California and Florida anyways, and we all know they got hard water, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. I know it's bad, it's only 720. Ugh, that's why I don't use StreamYard. StreamYard is 720 as well. It's freaking terrible. It's awful. Uh, just learned that there are freshwater sponges. So cool. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, I have a 20 gallon high with extra tan with extra tan orange natural looking smooth gravel. Interested in doing a biotope of, of sorts. However, haven't a clue what would work. Uh, well, I mean, it just depends on like what type of biotope you want. Um, are you wanting like somewhere, some biotope in the world that has tan substrate? Is that, I, I wouldn't be worried about substrate color when you're going for a biotope. That'd be like the last thing. I mean, obviously if it's like pink and neon green, <laughs> then maybe I would be a little worried about it, but, um, wow. There's a new emoji in chat. That's the no drama llama. When everyone starts bringing up drama, we just drop the llama that's the no drama llama we established that on last thursday's live stream <laughs> uh, off topic but the maple bacon cory credit you for finding it look delicious it's pretty dang good sometimes they cut it way too thick which then it's just like ham but yeah it's it's pretty dang good i'm so impatient about moving so i can get a big tank but i have to wait a year a year is nothing, my friend. Trust me, it goes by fast. Chihuahuas can be great. They just need to be trained and handled like a full-size dog. Well, see, I also... Um, I just can never have a small dog because I, I just feel like I would hurt it accidentally. Um, I, like, I like dogs that I can body slam from the third rope, like WWE style. Just boom! Take that, buddy. So... I, I mean, I, I would just be worried about stepping on it or like laying down and rolling over on it. I don't know. Started doing your recommended steps to get rid of green string algae. So far, the eradication has been a success. There is much less algae. It really works. I'm telling you, like of all the algae, hair and string algae is just, in my opinion, the easiest to get rid of. Uh, the no drama llama. Yeah, I... <laughs> Now that you guys are using it, um, I actually uploaded the wrong image because there it was 
It's supposed to be a llama with like the circle and the line through it. Like, no. So I, I'll fix that after the stream. The no drama llama. Um, and it was because I was wearing a 3D printed llama shirt because I'm so stylish. Everyone was jealous of my llama shirt. It was actually an alpaca, but we, we called it a llama just because that rhymes with drama. <laughs> Do you like Blackwater tanks and or using botanicals in tanks? I've done some, I wouldn't call them Blackwater tanks, but tanks with lots of botanicals in them. And I think it's neat, um, like tannin tanks. I think they can look really good, but I think it needs the right lighting. Like, I don't think you can just do it um, with any lighting. You definitely need the lights that cause the shimmer, in my opinion. Like the, the, the tanned water with the shimmer, I think looks really good. Have you ever had bacon crack? Um, no, say no to crack. Uh, went to a new place and saw saltwater fish spotting. Wait, went to a new place and saw a saltwater fish spotting, spitting water at us. Um, spotting water, spitting water at us. He called it the llama of the sea, cutest ever saltwater archer fish. With you, one hundred percent on the small dog thing. Yeah, like I don't know. It, like, I don't want to be worried about my dogs when I take them hiking. Um, actually, just um, a couple months ago, someone's little chihuahua got taken by a bald eagle. Like, like 12, like, I mean, it was literally, like, right next to him. And, like, a bald eagle coming in, you don't you don't know. That's not something you just, you're not just looking around for bald eagles, right? And just swooped it right up. Uh, that's not something that I want to worry about, especially because I spend a lot of time in the mountains. Like, hang on. I'd rather I'd rather have dogs that can kill stuff in the mountains than be killed. How long have you been keeping fish for? <sighs> On and off since I was just a wee lad of probably like 12. Uh, but now consistently, I don't even know, a long time. What's Bob's favorite non-animal based YouTuber? So you're talking about like what's my favorite YouTuber? outside of animals um i really enjoy i'll, I'll just link it because there's it's a, it's actually a top five channel but it's not like a top five channel that you think it is but it, the name of the channel is actually top fives oh uh, let's see So this has been my favorite. I always end up going back to this channel, always. Now don't go to that channel and leave the stream. <laughs> if you do, at least leave a like on the way out. You know, I'd appreciate a like. Don't forget to like, very important to like. Um, and the, the stream is offline apparently, so there you go. Um, I like corgis because they're short, but they're also more of a medium sized dog. What do you think of Aquashella this year? I didn't go this year. Um, I, to me though, from what I saw online, it didn't really look like Aquashella, so I don't know. But like, like I said, um, is the dog, no, the dog is gone. No. Um, but yet yeah, there's a billion eagles around, bald eagles, and they're freaking huge. Like a lot of people don't realize how big a bald eagle is. <laughs> um, I have big dogs and small dogs. All dogs can be awesome. Just depends on how you raise them up. Yeah. And I'm not, and I'm not like. It's not anything against the dogs, as I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's just for me and my lifestyle, um, like I don't, I don't think I can own a small dog. Like I love playing them, playing with them when I go to the shelter, but uh, long term, I, I'm just afraid that like I would hurt it on accident. I don't know. I, I'm just always paranoid. Uh, what else do we got going on? What's Bob's favorite? Oh, no, no. With, with you 100% of small dog, Bob, how long have you been keeping fish for? I'll do my answer. Bake a crack. <laughs> Bake a crack. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> my dad is biased against plecos because he had a common as a kid, and surprise, surprise, it got huge. No way. I don't believe it. Um, and now he thinks all plecos are like that, trying to convince him to let me get a bristle nose help. Well, luckily, we live in this day and age of the internet when all you have to do is Google a bristlenose pleco to see that they're only like five inches. 
And the Clara Pleco, which is also a bristlenose Pleco, is only like three inches, Clara Pleco. So they're even smaller. Definitely lots of smaller fish uh, Plecos than common Plecos. Just copped some yo-yo loaches and a gold loach. Just copped them. Just copped them. I haven't heard that term in so long. <laughs> I had to be a bird. Whatever, if it touched my little dog, the hands. <laughs> it happens so fast. So fast. Like, yeah, it's not like they swoop down and get the dog and just sit there. They swoop it up and fly away with it. <laughs> Trust, you can't. Um, have you seen the video that's like been going around up for a couple weeks of the bear? There's like some bear like up on this lady's fence and she's got like four or five dogs just barking at it. You know, all different sizes, most of them small. And it's like trying to swoop down while standing on the fence at the dogs. And this lady just comes booking out of her sliding glass door and just bull rushes this bear and knocks him off the fence. It's so crazy. Um, I think bald eagle's wingspan can be over seven feet. Yeah, again, so they swoop down and they, they take it. They don't just sit there. Um, rubber lip plecos are pretty cool as well. Yeah, that's another good one. Uh, rubber lip plecos, definitely in that like three and a half, four inch, like max range and a really good algae eater. Uh, my small dogs are in the 20 pound range, much larger than chihuahuas. All right, if you guys are going to go play in this insane heat and come over and drool on me, that's poor etiquette. Poor etiquette. Yeah, go away. I saw the bear video. Yeah, isn't that crazy? And this this girl, she's like, she can't be like but five feet tall. And uh, just some older lady just comes, boom, and just like tackles this bear. Knocks it right off the fence. Of course, she goes down too, but, you know, luckily there was a fence between them. I'm a dag person and I never liked cats, never ever wanted them, but then I found this little crippled ginger cat in the smoker at work and we've been best friends since. <laughs> I'm a dog person. That's usually how it works. Um, my uh, my dad has never been like a huge dog or cat person ever, like ever. And uh, this cat just started showing up and now he's got, he just goes crazy over this cat now. like. It, he bought the cat its own chair to sit next to him on the porch. <laughs> um, he's trained it. It's insane. I want to see this bear video now. It's it's like a it's one it's just like a fifteen second like TikTok viral type clip. Um, I wouldn't I don't even know what to search for it, but it was it was making the rounds like a week or two ago. You could probably I mean I'm sure you could just find it on YouTube. Just Google it. Check out Infinite Aquarium in Santa Clara, California. They have beautiful tanks and lots of plants. Um, that bear had cubs too. That's true. That is also true. So it was a mama bear, like fighting, probably fighting the dogs off her cubs or thinking that she needed to do that. So it wasn't just any bear. It was a mama bear. It was insane. Uh, favorite invert to keep aquatic or terrestrial? Um, boy. I'm, I'm going to say it, even though I can't say it, uh, the dwarf Mexican crayfish, when I kept those, um, I just love those things. Um, and then I found out they're illegal, so I had to get rid of them, which kind of sucks. Um, but the dwarf Mexican crayfish will probably always be my favorite. Uh, Lisa, Katie Truckles, oh, your dad sounds like a good guy. Yep, and I actually uh, got to hang out with the cat last weekend. I had to go... Had to go feed them because they were out of town, but they're back now. I want to see a picture of Papa Bob. He's in one of my videos. He is in one of my videos. I still got to go up there and make a video um, on the chickens. Uh, Dolbeck Aqua Design says, I saw the bear video. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Case you says, good bear video. <laughs> yeah. Um, Caitlin says, I knew I saw someone say they had a cocker. I have an orange Rowan English. Um, my grandma had a cocker spaniel. Actually, she had one for a long time. Uh, passed away. She got another one. Oh uh, yeah, she always had cocker spaniels. They're really, really cool dogs. Uh, just found the bear video. <laughs> that was nuts. Yep, I'm telling you. Um, 
man. Girl had a minor injury after falling, I think. (laughs) Well, I mean, you just fought off a bear. I wouldn't really call it a fight, but more like you just decimated a bear. Like, really? 204 watching, only 140 likes? What's the dill pickle? I don't know, Thomas George. I've been asking for likes this whole stream. That's all I asked for. Uh, went to Great America, ended up at the fish store, and it was the most beautiful rimless tank filled with rimless tanks filled with tanks. Went to Great America, ended up at the fish store, and it was the most beautiful rimless tanks filled with. I'm gonna guess that's something else. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna go out and look, go out on a limb and say there's something else. Uh, anyone else corridor gets super excited for food literally all my fish come up to the feeding corner corridors and all i would say that's pretty common for corridors yep um keeping corridors with plecos can get kind of interesting when you're trying to feed the plecos because the quarries just do not go away (laughs) they're um yeah they're they're pretty food um i won't say aggressive because they don't they're not aggressive but I'll, i'll say food motivated just like me Talk about bragging rights for life. Girl wrestled a bear. I mean, didn't even wrestle it. Just like KO'd it. <laughs> KO'd. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. I would say that bear was bull rushed. <laughs> um, that's awesome. I'm a dog groomer and have a bunch of English cockers as clients. I love them. One is a red Rowan. His name is Wallace. Uh, that's that's a good name for that. <laughs> My phone is acting up again. Yeah. I hate autocorrect so much. Um, the girl that pushed the, the girl that pushed the bear was only seventeen. Oh, I don't I don't know. I maybe I just saw a low resolution video of it or something. I don't know. She looked old. Uh, that's that's crazy. How are the panda gar fry doing? What do you feed them? I feed them every. I don't feed them anything special. So I have, uh, I mean, I have the whole extreme line that I feed them. Um, frozen foods that I feed them. Uh, they really don't shy away from anything. They're s- super easy to feed. Like, inc- they're just such easy fish. It's, in- it's incredible. What's the best type of bear? Polar bear. That's why I'm going to go swimming with them. Swimming with polar bears. I have three trophies in a 66 gallon lake tank and you can set up. Do you think this would work? As I always hear, they should be in a species only tank and have a bigger colony. Um, could it work maybe they're definitely the fish that like to be in large shoals um i don't think the species only thing is really that accurate um but you really have to pay attention to what you feed them um, because they are definitely more on the herbivore side whereas a lot of tank and can fish are on the carnivore side uh, so you just really have to pay attention to their diet and that's really the only thing when it comes to mixing species um are you still working out yep every day every single day i haven't changed really changed my eating habits though so it's kind of useless but not really um i mean i've cut a lot of bad stuff out for sure but i still like my portion sizes are ridiculous because i love food but yeah i'm officially like over th- i mean i quit counting but i was over 30 days in a row going or i am um yeah, I don't even count anymore. I used to show dogs and worked for her breeder. Did not intend to come home with a puppy, but <laughs> that's not like everyone gets a puppy, right? What are your top fish not counting rainbows? Do, do other fish even count if they're not rainbows? I'm confused. Um, Apistos, Corydoras, Panagaras, definitely. Um, there's so many. Actually, there's tons of dwarf cichlids. Um, uh, Cyprochromus. Yeah. So we'll go, I'm going to, I'm going to say types. I'm not going to say specifically, um, Garas, Corydoras, um, Apistos, Plecos, and Cipro, I'm going to, I'll go Cyprochromus because I love Cyprochromus. Uh, Steamfa is technically a bear. <laughs> okay. Uh, the bear pushing the girl was on the news a couple weeks ago. She is 17 and just wanted to save her dogs. I mean, I, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. What are your dog's names? Um, that's a good question. Uh, Arlo, Braxton, and Chance. A, B, C. 
Uh, the diet is the hardest part. Good to hear. Yeah, and I, do, I don't eat really junk anymore at all. But um, like this morning, I made ground beef with eggs, and I had like well over a pound of ground beef. <laughs> Need to work on them portion sizes, man. I'm telling you. I have three Scarlet Badness in a 7.5 gallon. What can I put in a 7.5 heav heavily planted tank that won't outcompete them for food and looks interesting? Why not shrimp? Why not shrimp? I would, I would do shrimp. Ever try intermittent fasting? Uh, I would never do that. I would never do that. Um, I have green anus quarries. Any food suggestions? Um, boy, quarries are just not picky at all. But if you want like a really... Um, a really good quality food that Corridoras love and you don't mind spending the money, I would do like Rapashi. Corridoras love Rapashi. Uh, do Malaysian trumpet snails eat black worms? You know, I, I don't think so. I've never, I've never seen a snail eat a black worm ever. I've never kept assassin snails, but of the ones I have kept, I've never seen them go after a black worm. Uh, so whatever happened with the swimming with bowler bears, bears, thing uh still happening I, I think i'm waiting for an email still i need to reach out um uh, I, I still actually it might be on me to pick a date now that i come to think of it i think it is me um i just i have to pick a date and uh yeah i'll have to get together with jimmy and pick a date to go down there if he still wants to go uh do you have a favorite isopod <laughs> i really love the zebra isopods i've never been successful with them uh, but I do, I do love them. I think I just, I'm a sucker for anything with the zebra pattern. Like, I mean, that's really it. Um, how is Danny? Um, she might be lurking. She was here earlier. I'm sure she seems to be doing okay. <laughs> for Father's Day, we had smoked ribs, barbecue chicken, and steaks. That sounds amazing. Brian S., what's up, buddy? Hey, Bob and friends. Long time no see. Oh, man. Man, my eyes are like wigging out these these lights man they're bright can't get my pea puffer to eat anything but blood worms that's pretty much all they eat <laughs> that's that's it um i drink a liter of water before i eat my meals it helps me fill me up with the to the correct portion i'll see you five times a day i'm down to 255 from 305 yeah yeah i need to uh start doing that five Five smaller meals a day rubber ducky isopods um, because they look derpy I mean they're cool I've never kept them though so I can't say they're my favorite like um, I feel like there's a lot of animals that look cool but then you keep it and they're like just giant douchebags not that isopods can be douchebags so when people ask me like what my favorites are I usually try to stick with things that I've actually kept and have experience with Like, what if I've never had any experience with a Chihuahua, and I was like, my favorite dog is a Chihuahua, and Chihuahuas are like a holes. So, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Bob's tearing up. I'm tearing up, man. I'm tearing up. If you're planning on building muscles more than getting thin portions, aren't a big thing as long as you work out regularly. Uh, um, can I make 250 gallon, six feet by six feet playset pool? into a freshwater above ground goldfish pond purpose garden fish fertilizer water aquaponics uh yes you can turn any pool into a an an aquarium i don't know if you noticed earlier thanks for the java moss advice is my wife's low-tech tank and doing great now blue water gym awesome i did not see that earlier but i'm glad I'm glad uh it's too hot for you to be laying on my feet, buddy. That's why, that's why you're panting so much. With Bob and Corey working out, we'll soon have a buff trio of fish keepers with Zenzo. Uh, yeah, I have rubber duckies. They are cute and derpy, but I almost never see them. Texas Fish Room, what's up, buddy? Try Karma Drink to replace soda. It's I haven't drank soda for years. For years. I cut out soda in fast food like years ago years ago soda is just awful like awful uh, hay fever for me today hay fever oh, oh i'm gonna slouch oh yeah now that 
dude's not laying on my legs. I can slouch a little. There we go. Uh, Tim says, I am a big fan of betta fish. Betta fish are awesome. I've never heard of karma drink. Um, I told my mom about your opinion of the BC boys as a native Californian. She wasn't impressed. <laughs> and let's not get started on that again. Although we are heading into the second hour, which is kind of the nonsense hour. Oh, man, I am slouching. Look how low I am. Can I just wait? Uh, can I fix my slouch? Now I'm not slouching because I'm sitting way up here. Portion control is huge if you're building muscle. Also, if you don't eat proper amounts, you just get fat. Blah. Blah. Um, <laughs> I feel like my portion levels have always been insane. So any, any, any sort of cutback. But I don't know. I just love eating a couple steaks and some potatoes, some bread. It's the carbs, man. The carbs kill me. Carbs. Soda is awful. Drinks her Coke. <laughs> okay, where am I at? Let's. Oh no. Uh. No, that's not it. There we go. There. Uh, looks comfortable. <laughs> yeah. I'm addicted to sugar. A lot of people are addicted to sugar. I generally don't have a sweet tooth. Um, every once in a while, it'll kick up, but not a big sweets guy. I'm definitely, although carbs are sugar, so I, what do I know? Uh, what fish do you want to spawn that you haven't been able to yet? I remember you saying you haven't had much success with panda, panda quarries. Any others? Um, I just think there's a lot of uh, like fancy plecos that I just wasn't patient enough with um that i would like to breed so again i'm growing up another colony of l264s and l397s uh that i would eventually like to breed but again it's going to come down to patience because those things take like two years to mature at least so we'll see <laughs> we'll see uh, but I, I would say definitely a lot there's probably a lot of plecos on that list i very soft water what a good fish for soft water and you just look up anything from like South America, any, any Amazon fish is going to do well, which is like 75% of the hobby. <laughs> so, soda is bad for you. Soda is bad for you. It is absolutely terrible. Um, two hour shenanigans. Here we go with the police sirens. I'm deaf. I am definitely prefer savory rather than sweet. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm right there with you. I'd love to see a live stream with Bob, Corey, Dean, and Zenzo. Has that happened? Not Actually, not even close. I don't even think I've been on a live stream with Dean. Maybe. I don't think I've been on a live stream with Zenzo either. Uh, I'm going to have Corey or Zenzo come on the live stream. Um, hopefully, like, in the next week or two. One of them. Um... I don't know which one. Uh, I'll just reach out and maybe one or both will want to come on. Um, I know Corey's Corey will obviously come on, uh, but I haven't asked Zenzo. And there's some there's some stuff going on over at the co-op that I want him to come on and talk about that I think is pretty cool. So uh, soon, soon one or the other or both at different times or at the same time will come on. I don't know. Uh, hey, would you cycle a brand new fish tank with rocks and debris and some water plants from my backyard pond? From your pond, probably, probably, yes. Um, hey, Car hey, Kralo, use at Steamfot Aquatics and ask him so he sees it. Hmm, Carlo, what's your thoughts on Kribenzes? Um, I'm not a huge fan of the common crib, uh, just because they're everywhere. Um, they breed like guppies. But there's other Crebenzes that I do like, like the Maliwe Crebenzes. Um, there's like the red Nigerian Crebenzes. I th think it's red something. Um, so there's there's some rarer Crebenzes that I do really enjoy. But the common crib or like the giant Crebenzes, um, generally not a fan. Um, do you think Corey works too hard? Yes. But uh, I mean, it's hard to argue with someone that's that successful and... <laughs> And um, I, I, I don't know. Does he work too hard? I don't think he's had a vacation in like five years. He works seven days a week. 
from the moment he wakes up till he goes to bed, he's working. Um, I don't know. I keep asking him, like, at what point? Like, every time he hires someone new at the co-op, I ask him, like, so now do you get to take a break? <laughs> like, now do you get to take some time off and step back a little? <laughs> he says, nope. Always fires that need to be put out. Uh, looking for a light that I can program like the Fluval Aqua Sky without paying an arm and a leg. Any suggestions? Not one that I would suggest. There are some out there. Some like eBay brands. Some, you know, but none that I would suggest because I've never used them. Trying to restore my grandpa's old barrel, old brake barrel 16 gauge shotgun. Don't shoot yourself in the foot, but that actually sounds pretty fun. Um, ice cream is my sugary weakness of the moment. Yeah, I, I will say when it gets hot out like this, I do crave ice cream. Although I never I never buy ice cream. So the only time I eat it is if I go to someone's house and they're like, hey, you want ice cream? And if it's like 100 degrees out, I'm like, yes, absolutely. I want some ice cream. <laughs> See, what's how many male guppies are going to have in a 10 gallon tank if I'm keeping all males? Oh, I mean, you could do like a dozen easily. Uh, well, I wouldn't say easily, but I would say definitely a dozen. Like, I would feel safe with a dozen. What would be your stocking for a nano cichlid tank, like 15 gallon, apart from a pistogrammas? I would try to find nanochromis. Um, they are pretty much my second favorite dwarf cichlid behind um, Epistos. Nanochromis. Um, hoping Corey is able to do some NERM stuff here locally soon. It's hard to find fish friends when you start keeping fish doing during a worldwide pandemic. I can speak to that a little bit. Um, I don't want to, I can't give away too much, but I would say Caitlin, you, if you are a NERM, if you are a member of the co-op, um, things are looking favorable for maybe some local stuff I've said too much if I get off tonight if I don't wake up it was it was a aquarium co-op I've said too much but yeah I would say you definitely have some stuff to look forward to lemon bars candy bars my sweet tooth weakness is cereal it, it honestly cereal was like the hardest thing for me to quit oh man i love me some frosted flakes or like even life cereal uh oh cereal is so good but that's because it's like every bowl is like 15 pounds of sugar so of course it's good my panicori paired off why why are you sad sounds like you're gonna have some baby panicoris uh, Kurt Schindler, Schindler, Schindler with the one dollar super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What the deuce? What the deuce? Uh, what's the longest you've ever kept a tank running for? My dad set up his tank for fifteen years ago, and it's been running ever since. I just took over about three quarters of a year ago. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't even know. I mean, years for sure. Definitely not 15 years. I would say never. I've never had one over five years, but there's probably a lot that have gone three to five years. Don't worry, Bob. It was said in the last co-op live stream. Yeah, I missed. I missed Sunday's live stream. I'm not sure what was said, um, <laughs> but that's good. That's good. Um, I battled White Spot and I lost my two Mollies, my Angel and my Cory, my 12 Neon Tetras, my only survivor. This is the Honey Garami Clint, and my Platties are either breeding or fighting. That's really actually unusual for a Cory to uh, succumb to White Spot. Man, it must have been a really bad case. I was big in the Golden Grams. Yeah, that's another go. Yeah, boy, you're making me want to go buy some cereal, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, although I really want some cereal now. <laughs> Um, I saw in Pepper Corey's had a bunch of babies. That is awesome. I haven't checked on mine in a very long time. I could, I might have like hundreds of them by now. <laughs> uh, that sounds terrible, but they're in a tank that has so many plants. Like I have to like push everything to the side and look for fry. Uh, you can even put one bed in with them as along with guppies. Just fine. Yep. 
Uh, my battle voice, uh, anyone from WNC, Western North Carolina, maybe? Uh, we have no clubs here that I know of. Um, you can go to Aquarium Co-op's website. Um, I think they still have it, but they at one point they had a list, like a Google Maps list of like every fish club. Uh, I think they still have it, but I, I haven't looked. I haven't had a reason to look, so I don't know if it's still there, but it might still be there. Now I'm hungry. I, I'm really craving some cereal or some... What I've really been into lately is lemon lemon pepper tendies. Mm. And lemon pepper, mmm, so good. Lemon pepper chicken. <sighs> Dogs. I love calling grams. Don't forget to thumbs up. Yes. How about that 15 minute reminder to thumbs up? Like the video, please. Also, I mean, only like it if you actually like it. Don't don't be like this stream sucks and then thumbs up it. Right? If it sucks, don't like it. But if you actually like it, if you're having a good time, you know, hit hit the uh, like button. Also, oh my god, Bob, my loach that has the white bleach spots after the egg, he survived. He's healthy and thriving again. Wow. I actually remember that fish. That's crazy. That's awesome. I even think, I think I remember even saying, like, it's not going to end well for that fish. But hey, that's awesome. Uh, Seafood Aquatics, going off that previous question, have you found yourself ever getting rid of some fish for new ones, maybe got bored of them? Oh, yeah, I, th I think that's very common in the hobby. Like, I would never, like, and I know that's probably not what you're asking, but, like, shame people or, like, just come down on people that, like, rehome fish to get other fish. I mean, that's that's pretty much how this hobby goes, um, especially when it comes to like schooling fish, like tetras or rasboras or danios. You know, you've had them for a couple years and you send them off, you rehome them so someone else can enjoy them because you want to try something new. Um, yeah, that, that's super common. Whether people admit it or not, that, that happens all the time. People do it a lot. What's a pleco apart from bristle nose? Would you keep in a 17 gallon cube? The only other one I would keep is either, either the Clara pleco Clara C L A R A pleco, which is, it's a bushy nose pleco, but it's not like your typical bushy nose. So it's an, it's an incestuous, but not, not like just your regular bushy nose or the uh, rubber lip pleco, probably the only ones I would keep. <laughs> um, Car Carla says, Hey, Hey Ginger, I was just going to read that for funsies. Um, hey, Seeing Fought Aquatics, have you heard of Fish Kid 61? He's one. Of, he he's one of my favorite, and I'm not my channel, but he's my friend. He works so hard. <laughs> Please check it out. Fish Kid 71. Uh, when I get bored of fish, I put them in my 75 party tank. I mean that happens a lot with like my bigger tanks. I've got two 125s that are just like a hodgepodge of random schools of fish, and it still looks awesome. I don't buy ruffles or make sour cream dip unless it's Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving or a special occasion because that's my downfall. Sour cream dip ruffles. Um, I used to do like the the Lay's wavy just regular with like the. Uh, I mean, I I spent so long I don't I don't even know what the dip is called anymore, but my my grandma like bought that stuff in like five gallon jugs. I wish I could remember what the dip was. Like a uh, French onion dip, maybe, I think. Is that a thing? Is French onion dip a thing? But I just remember my grandma always had Waves original, Waves wavy original potato chips, and I think French onion dip, if that's a thing. It might have been something else, but you used to just eat the crap out of that as a kid, like polish, polish off an entire bag. I need to stop following the chat before I decide to make a grocery store run to get all these yummy foods people are mentioning. I know. I'm already, I, was, I was already thinking like, hmm, Mr. Stop streaming at 7. Do I have time to go to the grocery store? Hmm. <laughs> Gosh. Why do you guys always talk about food? Uh, which is better, PetSmart or Petco? I think it varies. I don't think one in general is better than the other. Like four to five years ago, my PetSmart was far and away better than Petco. Like, it wasn't even close. But now, there's different people working at both of them, and now my local Petco 
is far superior than PetSmart. So it really just comes down to the individual. When you when you're talking about like large corporations like that, it really comes down to the individual store and what kind of like environment and philosophy the store manager has and you know, it's it's very dependent on the on the workers, so. Uh Oh, French onion dip is the shiznit. My grandma used to make it with sour cream and Lipton onion soup mix. So, fr okay, then it was French onion dip. My, my, yeah, my grandma. I swear she, like, bathed in that stuff. <laughs> Would you ever mix fake plants with real plants? Um, I think so. I think so. There's probably some situations that I've maybe done that before. Uh, Joe Williams says, friends, I'm rebooting a 55 into a Tanganyikan setup, Multis, and Cipachromis. Like, that's like the ultimate Tanganyikan tank, in my opinion. You have the Multis at the bottom. You have the Cipachromis at top. Both very easy to breed. Well, depends on what kind of... Uh, oh, no, you already said Multis. So, yeah. You will have just gobs of fry in that tank. Did ribs for six hours. The pellet grill yesterday, they were amazing. I just I just got a smoker. Well, it's been a couple months. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. <laughs> I don't I don't want to take it out and get it set up and then just get like told that I got to move next week. <laughs> so like anything I've gotten over like the last like six months, I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. <laughs> I'm like, if I'm gonna have to pack it back up, I'm not even gonna take it out of the box. Um, stir fry over junk food. Stir fries? I mean, there's a lot of good stir fry up there. Uh, I picked up a 350 gram pack of Rapashi for only $10 on clearance. Right on. Rapashi is just, it's a shame that it's so expensive. I mean, I have no idea what goes on in making it. I don't know if they're price gouging or what. Uh, I'm not accusing them of price gouging. It's just really expensive. And, uh, it, but it's a really good food. Yum, yum. Um, I agree. She's the biggest fan of inverts, but we have snakes, so it shouldn't be a problem. What? Um, a can of squirt cheese and Ritz crackers. Squirt cheese. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jacob Hill is making dumplings. Um, how many people do we have? have we lost? Like everyone since we're talking about food. <laughs> nope. No one's left. All right. Um, kind of sad that Walmart sells fish. I don't think they sell fish anymore, Tim. Um, maybe it's regional, but here they stopped selling fish a long time ago. They didn't renew the contract with the company that um, was supposed to like clean the fish tanks and operate the fish tanks. And uh, they were getting so much bad press, press that they didn't renew the contracts, and now all the fish are gone. Uh, food is the closest thing we have to a physical vehicle that transfers culture. It's always interesting to talk about food. I know. Are there like food channels that have like food live streams? I feel like a food, like a food channel of someone and did like, like this, but with food, like, I feel like that would get a lot of people because everyone, everyone talks about food. It's crazy. Snail team six says just got a crested gecko yesterday. Congratulations. Um, super awesome gecko. Uh, why can't I fi find API meds anywhere? I, I don't know. Where are you? If you're in California or Canada, you're definitely not going to find them. Um, okay, since we were talking food, how about a ribeye roast cooked long and low? Um, you know, I'm actually probably going to get a lot of hate for this. Um, not a fan of ribeye. Uh, I mean, it's good, but of like of all the different um, you know cuts of beef, like ribeye for me is like at the bottom hate to say it um stop selling fish here also yeah I, I don't think walmart sells fish anymore um how about we just uh ban this guy there susan says hello bob and friends hello susan and friends rapashi is expensive powder <laughs> Uh, went to Meyer the other day, a store similar to Walmart. They had live fish. It was upsetting. Um, yeah, I, we don't have Myers here, so I'm not really sure what Myers is, but I mean, obviously you say it's like Walmart. I can't imagine their fish are better kept. Uh, Walmart doesn't fish, doesn't sell fish in PA either. Yeah, I think they got rid of them everywhere. There might be like 
a few stragglers stores out there that, that still have them but for the most part um they should be gone my four mono shrimp ate all the blackbeard algae and stripped all the leaves off my um i'm gonna guess you mean rotala maybe rotala rotondra rotala maybe uh super fish red tail shark but buyer beware um red tail sharks yeah i don't i don't like to really recommend those fish food brings humans together <sighs> i mean this food's pretty good my mono shrimps apparently think my fingers need cleaned and go into my hands when i maintain the tank it feels so weird to be cleaned by shrimp uh i think it's kind of funny when i had when i had my breeding fish for profit tank it was cherry shrimp but it was the same thing you put your hand in there and they all just like swarm onto your hand it was pretty awesome Why can't I find AP, API meds anymore? Hmm. I'm curious where you are, Jim. Blue water Jim. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I'm frozen. I am frozen. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phones. Oops. Doing a little refresh here. I know I'm still live, but I am also frozen. Oh my gosh. Applesauce and Ritz crackers. <laughs> what? Well, that's a combo I've never heard of. Uh, New York strip. Okay, my chat's finally starting to catch up. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so far behind now. Uh, but they had a lot of people. Flush, got a kick. Okay. I have no idea where this froze from. Banhammer. What are the dark bodied red tail fin in the background? Um, uh, white cloud minnows. I've seen a couple YouTube live streams while cooking dinner. Our channel is based on cheap meals, meal ideas, and grocery hauls. Grocery hauls? Like, do people actually watch that? I, I mean, people love like haul videos but groceries like here's what i bought at the grocery store today boy you could do anything on youtube i guess um do you have a favorite white cloud variety um favorite white cloud variety for ponds is definitely golden white clouds they just look so good in the sun super easy to see um and i'm going to um scroll all the way to the bottom and miss everyone's chat i'm sorry but um yeah, it was me that was frozen. It wasn't you guys. It was me. Um, but I'm refreshed. I'm live now. And I missed all your chats. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom. I'm over my platies. They reproduce so much. I try to catch as many as I can. and take them to my LFS. Too many. Um, I will say those, the, um, the Hawaiian platies that I got look amazing outside in my pond. Holy smokes. Um, gold white clouds look great from the top. Yep, there you go. I'm telling you, golden white clouds. Is my area chain in your state? I thought it was Michigan only. Um, I think it's like a central, like East Coast thing. I don't think there's any on the West Coast. Uh, I have heard of the store before, but I've never actually been to one. Uh, seems like walks have a seven gallon cube with a female bed and three coolie loaches filter is fit for a 15 gallon. I know it's not ideal, but what are your thoughts? Um, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll work. I mean, coolie loaches are not that big. Um, yeah i mean personally i would rather have them in a bigger tank myself but that, it, that's just personal preference uh you're not frozen um buddy buddy you good buddy you good yep yep yeah, it was my it was my browser my browser was frozen my platies never breed females and males i'm guessing the babies get eaten um or they just are not breeding like generally live bears require hard water so like if you have soft water maybe they're just not breeding um i wonder how many people left the stream to go to the grocery store <laughs> caitlin's gone caitlin's like i'm out i'm going to the grocery store uh seafood aquatics favorite fish to breed in a 10 gallon tank probably endlers endlers or shrimp i know that's not a fish but i would say endlers or shrimp 
Uh, the store in Washington is Fred Meyer, which I think is related to Kroger. Yeah, we have Fred Meyer here, which is like a really, it didn't always used to be, but it is definitely now like a super yuppie store. And it used to be one of my favorite stores to go to, but now it's all like super yuppie. So I hardly ever go there now. Are there any fish that can survive in Alaska? It gets negative 20 during the winter. Um, salmon. <laughs> I don't know. What other fish do you have up there? Whatever's native is probably all that's going to survive. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I have negative 20. I don't know. Don't call me buddy guy. Don't call me guy friend. Don't call me friend. Um, I just started cooking stir fry. That's funny. That's funny. The nice thing about stir fry is like it's relatively easy and it tastes really good. You know what I really like is Mongolian grill. Oh, I wish we had a good Mongolian grill place here. No, I'm still here. I found chips. Oh, man. Chips are my weakness. I was thinking about getting groceries. <laughs> um, wait, he's back. Do you have lots of plants? Plants are life saver. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I should say also, like, there if they are breeding, there's also a good chance that they're the fry are getting eaten. Um, if you want, like, if you're trying to breed them and keep the fry, uh, there's lots of like DIY fry savers you can make. Or like Regina says, just throw in some plants, spawning mop, something. Is Extreme Nano Krill Flake a good diet for clown killies or would I need to add any other foods? Um, I think you're definitely Nano, Extreme Nano and Krill Flake is definitely a good staple. I wouldn't have any problems with that. Uh, you can make stir fry in so many combos of veggies and meat and spices that it never gets old. <laughs> You should change your name to Stir Fry John. <laughs> John's Fish, Michigan. Stir Fry John. Stir Fry John. It's one of my favorite, like, I don't know that it's a stir fry, but like skillets on the cast iron. It's one of my favorite things to cook camping. Just throw everything on the skillet and cook it. Just kind of like a, a stir fry, right? I uh, love Mongolian Grill, but it's like 45 minutes away. Yeah, we had, we had an amazing place, but it shut down because it was like stealing money and laundering and you know, just shenanigans in general. My rainbows all of a sudden are getting a tumor-like growth on their gills. And my Madagascar rainbow has one on top of it that's only affecting the rainbows. What is it and how do I stop it? Wooly wooly, you usually can't. Um, that is generally not a good sign for rainbow fish. Um, chances are your other fish have it as well. Um, but they have way better immune systems. Um, rainbow fish, once they start getting those growths, it's pretty much over for them. Uh, the only thing you can do really, you could, I mean, you could try meds. I've never had it work. Eventually they always end up dying. Uh, but just really clean water is the best thing you could do for them at this point. Salmon, trout, stickleback, pike, dolly, char. Ah, uh, man. What? Yeah, I don't, you need a really big pond for all of those. Uh, uh you're out of blood worms don't know how i didn't know about that earlier don't call me bro bruh brew come on brew um what would you feed yo-yo loaches salmon trout stickleback like dolly jar uh yo-yo loaches i would do like extreme krill nano um any any i mean they'll eat flake food they'll eat frozen foods uh, but as a, as like a staple I would do like a, um, a sinking pellet that's like size appropriate. And then I would do, uh, which for me would be extreme because that's my favorite food right now. Um, and then I would do frozen foods as well. Uh, what fish tank do I spend the most time looking at? It's probably, I have a 125 gallon tank that has um, banjo catfish, various species of Corydoras, um, an undescribed species of Danio. Uh, what else? There's various rainbow fish various um has my honey garamis um just just a lot of different fish in it it also helps that it's like 125 gallons so it's big but it's also like eye level so it's really easy to look at <laughs> uh Bella loves plants they like they like hide behind them they do like to hide in plants 
Uh, like barbecue? Yeah. I like barbecue, if that's what you're saying. Yo-yo loaches like small snails, blackworms, bloodworms, and sinking pellets. Um, yeah, a great snail eater. If you're trying to get rid of snails, just get yourself some yo-yo loaches. Invasive goldfish, and I think someone caught a bass here. We had piranhas in one of our lakes. This was probably like eight or so years ago. Like full-on just massive piranhas. I don't know what kind of piranha, but they were big. Um, stop, they will put you in timeout. What? Um, anyway, hey, easy, buddy. The old man, he catched the fish, but the shark, he ate the fish, and the old man, he no make no money. What? Uh, okay. Uh, went fishing over the weekend and caught a bass and some sunfish, and a snapping turtle came over and just stared at me with those cold, ancient eyes. Boy, are they, like, just, like, super historic, just crazy-looking turtles, snapping turtles. They, they just look like they're a billion years old. Uh, floating plants are floating plants are best. I have a floating mess of Brazilian pennywort. I have to cut it back monthly. Uh, oh yeah, for the platy fly, fly fry. Yeah, I mean water sprite, water wisteria, all super easy. Um, and yes, it is a South Park reference. <laughs> um, <laughs> any of you all any. Any y'all ever eat monkey fish? I have no idea what that is. Uh, will a co-op ever ship to Canada? I mean, I can't really like speak for the co-op. Um, I know I can tell you that they try their hardest to ship internationally, and it just hasn't worked out yet. Um, will they ever? I know they want to, um, but with customs and duty fees, <laughs> use the duty. <laughs> Um, there's just so much that goes into shipping internationally. And I think just a lot of people don't realize that because unfortunately there's so many people that ship internationally, like, and don't follow, follow like the rules. And, um, you know, aquarium co-op is only going to do it while they can, um, you know, follow all the laws and then like the tax code. Um, there's not really like a good system. Um, like a good shopping cart software that does international taxes. Um, so there's there's just so much that goes into shipping internationally. Um, but I, I know they're working on it all the time, trying to figure it out. Uh, monkfish isn't my favorite, but I have had it. Uh, <laughs> give a man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach him how to keep fish, and you curse him with a lifetime of multiple tank syndrome. Now you're talking about fishing, fishing. Uh, they aren't going to anytime soon because shipping. Yeah, they, like dude, just the logistics of international shipping is insane. Tesla killed Dozer with the five dollars and thirty-eight cents super chat. Hey Bob, late to the stream. Here's a super chat to make up for my tardiness. Now that's a way to come in late, right there. <laughs> uh, thank you for the super chat. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, I went halibut fishing in Seward the same weekend that the deer meat for dinner went. Wait, what? But it wasn't the same time of day. I went halibut fishing in Seward the same weekend that deer meat for dinner went. I'm lost. What's up with fish, es fish essential being backed up? I don't even know what that is. Uh, um, Tim Hogan. Oh, brother. Haven't been able to... No, wait. That's Macho Man. Um. Anyways, moving on. My platies breed like crazy in R-O-D-I water. Well, there you go. Just had to slap me in the face with that knowledge. <laughs> um, fish essential being bad. I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't. I've eaten Nurse Shark. Hmm. Um, and, you know, meds and food and electronics are really hard to import to Canada because we like to be complicated. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, going to a website that sells multiple things, and of those, like, half of them aren't even allowed to be shipped to Canada. Like, phew. like I said, it's just insane logistics. Uh, my profile picture is a picture of a betta fish. He is pretty. Um, I cannot see your profile pic because it is about that big to me. About that big. 
Uh, so what time is it for you? It's 9.30 for me. I forgot you're two or three hours behind me. I am in PST. It is 6.30. And uh, the uh, the 6.30 reminder, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the like. Deer Meat for Dinner is a YouTuber. Oh. <laughs> Just because I'm a YouTuber doesn't mean I know like every YouTuber. <laughs> Goat meat is so bomb, you must try. I do like goat milk. Goat milk is my favorite milk, for sure. Deer meat for dinner is a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's so random. Like, what are the odds that I would know that? I don't know. There's like 4 billion YouTube channels. Uh, what stream software do you use? I use StreamYard. Oh, and by the way, I did my first live stream. I have StreamYard and OBS. And... It really depends on which one I use. I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I'll use OBS. Sometimes I use uh, Streamlabs. Um, I, there's no rhyme or reason. Uh, it usually depends on like updates. Like maybe OBS will come out with an update. So I'll try it for a while. Then Streamlabs will come out with an update. Then I'll go back to that for a little while. Uh, Carol says, great. I lost power again. Are you having like brownouts, blackouts, storms? Any camping plans for the outdoor channel? Um, I mean, I'm going to be going camping this week. Um, but again, I don't know if it's something I'm going to film. I do have some um, hikes and stuff planned for the outdoor channel. But I want to get... Uh, I need to buy a drone. So I don't know how long that's going to take. It might be a while. I had goats as a kid. was late to school one time because my goat ate my homework. I'm just kidding. Because my goat wouldn't co cooperate when I was trying to milk her. I, 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 I need to find a local source for goat milk because it is like five or six dollars for a half gallon at the grocery store. It's ridiculous. It's gotta, there's gotta be somewhere, someone somewhere selling goat cheap, cheap goat milk cheaper than that. That just seems really expensive to me. I don't know. I'm not a goat expert, so maybe there's just a really low yield on milking goats. I don't know, but man, I'm going to talk about stir fry every stream. So you always recognize me. You're going to be like the rooftop tent guy, <laughs> but it's going to be stir fry favorite type of fishing and species to target. I really, I don't fish. Um, I used to fish a long, long time ago and I really loved rainbow and cutthroat trout. Um, but yeah, I haven't been fishing in a very long time. Uh, one day I'll be able to get to the co-op merch in Canada with borders opening soon. It might be possible. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Are you like in Vancouver area? It's not that far of a drive. Well, like three hours, maybe four hours. I don't know. Anyone got a PS5 for regular price asking for a friend and that friend is me. <laughs> Good luck. Um, Brenda, hi everyone. I got lucky enough to catch some of this. Hello, Brenda. Welcome to the stream. Um, snapping turtles will take will take thump if you get close to them. Um, a snapping turtle will take like your whole hand. BJ Palmer says, "I finally made it back. What happened? What? 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 Something happened. Definitely a lot less cows than the cows yield, but it's enough for us when it's just one goat. So I guess I just need to buy like one goat." And uh, just let it roam in the backyard and eat, mow my lawn, eat the weeds and stuff, right? Is that how it works? Uh, you eat stir fry, fry fish, fry, how dare you? Um, I eat what? Fish fry? What? Uh, PS4 works amazing. PS5 is for nerdy gamers that need the newest thing. <laughs> so, like, PS5 is like the new iPhone that's coming out. Like, only the nerdy nerds. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna go down the, the old the old iPhone thing. Let's just avoid that. So what fish get along with good fish freshwater puffers? It really depends on the puffer. Um what? Who's spamming? Someone's spamming? You milk one goat, you milk them all. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Now I done and broke the microphone. Yeah, that's all right. It'll last another 20 minutes. I have a PS4 too. I have a PS3. 
Is that cool? I don't know. Did someone say rooftop tent? <laughs> There's the rooftop tent guy. So we have a, a rooftop tent guy and a stir fry guy now. Um, can you put the membership price on sale or reduce it? Because I could be a member, buddy. Um, no. <laughs> um, there's no like way to put it on sale and have it like not go back up. Uh, but I might do a cheaper tier. I don't know if I want to do tiers though. It just like it's hard enough to do content for one tier. Like having like three or four or five tiers. I don't know. I don't know. It is. It's been something that I've been like thinking about, but like I said, just having multiple tiers just. Uh, uh, you'll need a couple because they don't do well alone. But yes, they did a great job keeping the blackberries in check. Well, I've got mulberries that are like 13 or 14 feet high in my backyard. It's awful. I've been slowly, slowly cutting them down. But I've been, you know, it's been hot. So I've been doing it in shorts. So like my legs are just all just just all cut up. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I wish we could give memberships. I say every time as creators, we always get these stupid surveys from YouTubers from YouTubers from YouTube and they're always like what do you think about this what would you like to change blah 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 and I'm like why can't we gift memberships like every other streaming service can gift memberships like it took them so long like just to be able to buy like a, the uh, the six months at a time like that took years like four years to implement just being able to buy them in batches and there, there's only one like on Twitch, you could do like one month, three months, six months, 12 months, two years, whatever. YouTube, after four years of streaming, they're like, okay, you can do six months at a time now. So gifting memberships, we're probably still like five years away from that. Again, we cannot expect too much from like the, 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 the biggest tech company in the world. All right. We can't expect too much from them. Um, highest tier gets to watch Bob try all the pies. See, I'm just not a sweets person. It's not that I don't like pies. I'm just like, if I go to the grocery store and there's a pie, I'm like, well, I could get pie or I could get this bag of beef jerky. Like I'm going for the beef jerky. I just like, I, it's just the sweets thing. I just, sometimes I do crave sweets, but it's just really, really rare. Uh, why is Cory Dora's and Pleco's common a no-no you mean common plecos is that what you're asking uh we can buy six months at a time how it's 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 an option um i don't know it i might not be a uh an option on apple because i know there's a lot of things that are different than with apple so i'm not sure if you have apple or not um it gave me the option but only on my laptop yeah it might be like something that's only available um, in a web browser, like not for smartphones. I, again, it's only like the largest technology, techno technology company in the world. Like we just can't expect them to do things that make sense. Uh, what do you eat when you crave sweets? Um, I don't know. There's not like one thing I go to. It's usually just pretty random. Pie is good for the holidays, but beef jerky is good every day. And honestly, like even on the holidays, if like if there's room for pie, then I'm going to go have some more chicken or whatever like the meat was. That's what I'm going to eat over over pie. Uh, common plecos get like 24 inches long. If you have a huge tank, you can have them. They will uproot plants easily, though. Oh, maybe you're asking why common plecos are a no-no. Yeah, because they get huge, and a lot of people don't realize that. Um, there's a giant snapper in that pond. I thought it was an alligator snapper the first time I saw it. I think it could be a state record. I'm gonna try and catch it this year. Um, I mean that's pretty cool. Like, don't you like catch it, measure it, send it back. Um, yeah, if it's a record, why not? In Mexico, I have NES in a box with Duck Hunt. I would love to buy like a brand new in box, still wrapped 
original NES with Duck Hunt. I I couldn't imagine how expensive that is though. And just just for the collectible, like the the original NES was like my very first console, so that's the only reason why. Uh, that's my pride and joy. I bet like still brand new in a box, still wrapped. It's probably I I don't even know how much that would be, but they're probably pretty expensive. Twitch is okay, not the best. None of them are really that good. None of them. There's like nothing that really like stands out as like the best streaming service. Oh, later fish kid, a pies. What do you eat when you crave sweets? Hmm. You got to play on an old TV. I do have an old tube TV um, in the garage. Still works. Do you have fish that you can say is the most boring? Most boring fish. Um, in my opinion, I, I, I don't think they're boring fish, but I think how people keep them is, is boring. And that's like all the, like the bigger central American cichlids. Um, you know, the, the big giant cichlids that are in like a 125 gallon tank. And they're so big that all they can do is basically just sit in one spot. Like, I don't know. It's just not for me. You guys know that. If I could eat just sweets at holiday gathering, I would, but I have to be a good example to all the kids running around at the holidays. But it doesn't matter if kids eat sweets. Like, as a kid, I ate sweets all the time, and I was still, like, one pound. <laughs> it wasn't until I grew up that I started getting fat, and then you can't eat sweets. As a kid, eat all the sweets you want. Uh, well, you know, that's not entirely true, but whatever. NES never opened. There you go. Boring fish, full grown SAE, unpopular opinion. When I crave sweets, I eat sweets. Um, BJ says, Hey, Regina, how are you tonight? My grandfather gave me a newly hatched snapping turtle one time. He was about the size of the quarter. He was four or five. Boy, I don't think, I mean, I love turtles, but I don't, I don't think I would ever keep a snapping turtle like ever. I used to have the old Sega handheld in the 90s. It was about the size of a football. The first color screen Game Boy. Oh, well, lucky you, Richie. <laughs> Who makes the best fish keeping videos directed towards the younger generation? Um, Like specifically, I don't know. I'm not a part of the younger generation, so I don't know that I could speak for them. I'm probably the last person that should be speaking for the younger generation. <laughs> Uh, where can you find in the box NES with Duck Hunt? Probably like eBay. Probably the only place you're going to find it. Lemonade or chocolate milk will satisfy my sweet cravings. Oh, yeah, chocolate milk. I, I have to say it's probably chocolate milk. <sighs> sweet cravings, chocolate milk is a good one. Or ice cream. Or ice cream. Uh, what else do we got going on here? Now everyone's nerding out over the NES original NES if I had insane money I think a massive tank with Jack Wire Cuban Red Terrors and a few other of those uh, Central American cichlids would be awesome so much color and personality yeah and I always talk crap about those fish and it's not because I don't like to fish right I think I think a lot of fish are really awesome um, especially the larger Central American cichlids like I love the Hadiensis cichlid that's one of my favorite fish but unless I own like a thousand gallon aquarium or larger, I'm never going to buy one because even one of those in like a 300 gallon tank is just not enjoyable to me. Uh, I just make a bunch of desserts to bring and taste test it as I go and I don't bring it all so I have some to eat the next day. <laughs> what? Uh, how many African cichlids can I put in a 35 gallon? Andrew, it depends on what type. Um, African cichlids are like the smallest cichlid in the world is an African cichlid and like the second largest cichlid in the world is an African cichlid. So you just got you got to narrow it down a bit. Uh, I just make a bunch of, oh, I remember that one. I saw my old game systems and they weirdly still work. Yeah, I I never got rid of mine. I have all of mine too. Uh, my mom bought it in 2000 in the USA and shipped it over. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Um... Cyberpunk 2077 is broke. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty dumb game. Uh, which of the hundreds of species are you talking about? Hmm. 
Red terrors, though. I don't know. You know what? I don't know that I'm into red terrors, to be honest. Any any terror. Green. Well, I mean, green terrors, I guess, are pretty awesome. I guess I can't say that. What would cause a seasoned planted tank to all of a sudden have high nitrates, no ammonia, though? Even doing two 50% water changes, it still tests at high nitrites. I mean, it sounds like you lost your cycle, and it might just be old tank syndrome. That's honestly, it's probably just old tank syndrome. I have Super NES. I mean, it's pretty dusty, but it still works. I go back and play Legend of Zelda. Um, Super NES, I went back and played Bond 007, and it was awful. I had so many like hours and days into that game as as a kid. I don't I don't know how I ever played it. <laughs> Uh, I got a common pleco and six Cory Doras and a 250 and a Jack Dempsey. And I heard that you're not supposed to put those two fish together. Uh, pleco one foot long now had it a year, which like the Jack Dempsey or which two? Uh, you can certainly do plecos and Cory Doras. Um, but again, common plecos get really big, which is why people say you shouldn't keep them. I made a turtle basking raft as a summer job, so I got used to being around snapping turtles and painted turtles were my favorite. I really do. I, I like painted turtles. We have them here. Um, Paul McCarthy, good night, buddy. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah, painted turtles are really awesome. I really like them. Um, how do you fix it? Um, yeah, you really want to do a good cleaning of your substrate. Golden Eye on N64 was where it's at. I, I, I played it and I was like, try, at the time, I was like, yeah, this game is awesome. But now, like going back and playing it, I, I just, I don't even understand how I ever played that game. My 125 has 35 yellow labs. That's pretty awesome. Two peacocks, a convict, and a blood parrot. Two quarries, fully scaped with driftwood. Two canister filters, and I do 50 to 75% water changes once a week. Is that overkill? I mean, a lot of people will give you crap about mixing South American, Central American, and African cichlids all together, um, but it sounds like it's working, so I can't really say it's overkill. Uh, old gaming systems are pretty durable. I still have N64. The huge and heavy TV fell on it, and it is a bit smashed, but still works. <laughs> That's funny. What was really difficult was all the Disney games for NES and SNES. Uh, GoldenEye won if... Wait, Golden Eye is one of the best. Perfect Dark was amazing. Uh, I prefer schooling fish rather than big monster fish. Me too. But if you had to pick, what would be your favorite big monster fish? Something you would keep species only. It would be the Hadiensis cichlid. Um, that's its scientific name. The common name is the Black Nasty cichlid. Um, and they're super awesome. I would only keep one. Um, unless it was like, like I said, it would have to be like a 1,200 gallon tank. Then I would keep one and maybe some like mid-sized um, cichlids and plecos and things like that. But it would have to be like a huge tank. Like I can't, I can't see putting that thing in like a, a 200 gallon tank and calling it good. <sighs> I've never played a Halo game in my life. That's just not for me. Uh, I really liked the GameCube. Just me. I've never, I've never played GameCube ever either. Um, I've also never played that other Nintendo with the little handheld thing that you like throw around. The people always throw through their TVs. If I could keep a monster fish, it would be an Asian arowana. Um, hopefully, like in the next year or two, hopefully. Um, I know there's some legislation trying to get through that would legalize it, but I, I doubt it will get through. Uh, Space Station Silicon Valley is so fun for 64. <laughs> never, never even heard of it. I love these guys. Tim Hogan tanked is so funny. Tanked? Like the TV show tanked? Uh, what is your take on the Oscar fish? Um, there are some really cool looking Oscar fish out there, but for the most part, um, I'm not much of a fan, but again, it's just like the bigger, the bigger cichlids like that. I'm just not a fan of in general. Uh, sorry, I'm going to be gone for a few minutes. My area of New York just got a tornado warning. So I'm going to be watching AccuWeather tornado warning. Uh, the Wii, the only way I was, the only one I wasn't terrible at video games, the Wii, that's it. Yeah. I've never played the Wii. 
GameCube was the best Nintendo system. I had a Game Boy Virtual. I still have my original Game Boy. Um, I had a Game Boy Virtual Boy as a kid. Uh, I would feel like it was staring into the void of an alternate dimension if I stayed in the headset for too long. Uh, Mario Kart 8. Are they up to 8? Holy smokes. Tank to put a goldfish in a drum in a drum set? Um, interesting. Like, while they were playing, like, do they, they I hope they don't play this drum. I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if it was tanked, honestly, but. Uh, you never played Halo? Nope, never played it. Oh, Star Fox was a great game, too. What do you think about Celestial Pearl Daniels, my favorite fish? Um, CPDs, they're really shy, but they are a really good looking fish. Really good looking fish. Uh, Mario Party, I've never played Mario Party. Uh, oh, you know what? I have played Wii Bowling. That's right. I think I played that like once or twice. Um, discus or angelfish? Oof. If I could get wild discus, I would go with wild discus. Otherwise, I'm probably going with like a really, really red koi angelfish. Um, just a random question. My Jack Dempsey male breeding with female Oscar. Is it normal? What things I have to look out for? Any suggestions would be grateful. Are you trying to breed them? Is that what you're asking? Um, and your friends with KG tropicals. Yeah. What does that have to do? What, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> um, I love the old Diablo PC game. Just so gratifying squashing things with magic power. Never played that either. My drum wouldn't make any sound with a filled with water. So no point in playing it. I guess that's true. Like, duh. <laughs> um, I wouldn't surprise me though if they still like tried to beat on it though. Uh, we that's my first console that broke the TV. <laughs> Dean's Wild Discus, hands down. Yeah, the Wild Discus just look really good. Um, Halo is probably my favorite series of all time. I have like thirteen of the twenty-ish novels. I think they're around twenty by now. Diablo 4 is coming. What's your favorite? Daniel. Mine is Daniel Erythromycon. Favorite Daniel. Honestly, it's my mystery Dan Daniels. I have some Daniels that are not described yet. Um, and they're blue and yellow. And they're just really cool. Uh, 25 Lethronops with my 125. And now it's my favorite tank. I That sounds awesome. Really enjoying the species only concept. Can't wait to see them color up and breed. Fully planted. And have to thank you and Corey for that. Lethronops are really cool. Like uh, that's gonna look really awesome. Uh, KG Tropicals because you were talking about Oscars. Oh yeah. Well, he, like that's. I mean, that's what's great about this hobby. Like we don't have to like the same stuff to be friends. We can still be friends and like different things. Um, I think he likes the show Tanked. I think it's awful. We're still friends. He likes Oscars. I don't. We're still friends. You wanna know why? Cause we're adults. That's why. <laughs> Uh, I have a Halo inspired tattoo. Awesome. How do you get the mystery Daniels? Um, they were ordered for me uh, through a wholesaler. Um, I, I'm i pretty sure that we have the name for them now. I would just have to go back and ask. Uh, but they're still a mystery to me, and I like it that way. <laughs> but they are, they are new. They are, they are really like brand new to the hobby, so it's pretty cool. Um, a joke, a joke, buddy. It's a joke. Calm down, Bob. Uh, what's your favorite type of scape? Mine is Dutch Aquascape and Iwagima, Iwagumi. Uh, but the one you have as a background is amazing. Um, I am all about jungle, jungle scapes. So not Dutch, not like, you know, like I plan this. I spent, I got forty hours just planning the Aquascape. Nope. I just like throwing everything in and turning it into a giant jungle. That is my favorite. Uh, they just started breeding a few days back in small fries around the clay pot area. What things did I do to maintain a good balance between them? Um, I, I'm still not sure what you're asking. I'm sorry. Good balance between them. Um, yeah, I, I sorry. Uh, Bob is hardly an adult when it comes down to it. Such kid humor. Uh, I take some dabs and clean the 75 gallon. What? Um, okay. I don't know what that means, but I don't think I want to. <laughs> At Aquashella, I fell in love with a tank of coin angels and platinum angels. 
yeah, Koi Angels, like really, really red Koi Angels have always been my favorite. Um, probably the only Angels I would ever keep. I live in a town where that drum set tank is. It's really wild, but certainly cool. Has salt water and fresh water tanks. Can you just click a send me mystery fish box on a wholesale list? Selects a max, select a max tank size and go. No. So a lot of times on wholesale list, um, they're just listed as like Danio species, like just Danio SP or like rainbow fish SP or Tetra SP because they don't know. So you can buy mystery fish for sure, but you know, chances are they're just something like really common that that person just didn't know about. Uh, I'm having trouble finding Lake Tanganyika and cichlids bigger than an inch or so. Any suggestions on sites that sell either full size or bigger juvenile fish? Um, so I generally get my Lake Tanganyika fish from a website. Let me double check because sometimes I forget which one it is. Sometimes I don't remember if there's an S on the end of it or not. Um, but right here. There you go. Um, cichlidlovers.com. I got to make sure I get that S on there. Huge thunderstorm about to hit. I love thunderstorms. Uh, anybody do hot water changes? South Texas, 85 degree tap water. Wow. I guess you're doing them. <laughs> Um, have fun going to the grocery store after the stream. I don't think I am. Uh, weather outside is getting insane. Where are you guys? Like, dang. Um, I have no idea what that means. Danny, you'll have to tell me after the stream. Uh, weather outside is getting intense. Any, any fish with seahorse? Um, I used to, there used to be someone in the Facebook Facebook group in my Facebook group that would breed seahorses and post pictures all the time uh, but they're gone now so uh, anyways I'm going to call it for the evening um, it is that time it has been two hours already which is crazy um, a tornado passed my state today we never get tornadoes weird weather this year Jeez. Um, eating a giant bowl of cinnamon checks is amazing. <laughs> Let's not get started on the cereal again. All right. All right. Um, all right. Anyways, I want to thank everyone for coming out and leaving a thumbs up. If you did, if you didn't hit a thumbs up on your way out. Um, and thanks to all the mods, all the super chatters, all the subscribers and all the lurkers, um, members. I will see you hopefully Thursday. If not, um, I will see everyone else here next Monday. And uh, 